Hey, this is Nevin again with Disc. We're releasing season 14 of Cooking on the Discet. Got a brand new product to share. This stuff came in from Florida. Never even heard of it before. Thank you to the Pirate Johnny's deal right here. We got some chicken meatballs. And real quick, just want to do a huge shout out to Stuart and Monique for their, their awesome uh, uh, hospitality of bringing us in, cooking in their backyard. So a uh, huge shout out. Thank you guys so much. All of season 14 is thanks to Stuart and Monique. So uh, back on this real quick. We got these chicken meatballs with Pirate Johnny's. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Don't you dare go away. All right, welcome back. So here we are filming season 14 of the cooking show. We got a brand new product that came out of Florida, PirateJohnny's.com. So these guys have actually been watching the cooking show, watching us uh, feature all these different products. Uh, so they sent this in, sent us an awesome cookbook to check out. All kinds of recipes using the oven, using the grill, using a pan. Uh, we're breaking out discus style. So a couple different things here. We got Pirate Johnny's barbecue sauce. The garlic island is what we're gonna be using today. So we got the seasoning here. What we're gonna do is I picked the recipe out of their book here which is their garlic island chicken meatballs. Pretty simple, quick and easy it looks like. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that. What we've got is uh, some ground chicken. So we're gonna put the ground chicken in here. We got some panko crumbs, a couple eggs, some milk. This recipe is also available online here for them. That's panko crumbs. I don't know if you guys can see that here. So we got the milk, adding to the ground chicken and the panko crumbs couple large eggs and then we've got some minced garlic and onion. I love onions and garlic. Get all that stuff in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that up real good and I'm going to make uh, basically meatballs that are about one inch diameter. So these guys are asking for just a, uh, what do they want here? A couple tablespoons, boom. So I'm going to mix that up, I'm going to throw some oil in and uh, you can make these, uh, these chicken balls in about one inch thick. And then you can either serve these things just on their own with a little bit of sauce. I'm thinking about throwing like a meatball sandwich, a chicken meatball sandwich on this thing. So we'll find out here. Give me a couple minutes and we'll get this all set up. All right, so I took all the, uh, all the ingredients here, mixed them up, rolled this into like uh, one inch balls, uh, chicken balls. Again, it's got the onions, it's got the minced garlic. Um, I put a little bit more panko crumbs just to keep it uh, blended together a little bit. Probably because I might have put a little bit too much milk. Um, I probably put a little bit more of the uh, seasoning that they had asked for too. But uh, that's how I roll. So I got the biscuit on high heat with some uh, vegetable oil and I'm just trying to roll these around because I want to go ahead and brown them really good. And then once everything's browned real nice, kind of sealed, I'm going to go ahead and um, lower the temperature on here. And then we're going to add some of their garlic um, barbecue sauce. So let me get zoom in here. It actually smells pretty dang good. Again, I'm trying to get this seared, sealed up. So I'm going to let those cook for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add that uh, sauce. We'll let it thicken and serve it up. All right, so I got these, uh, these ch chicken meatballs pretty good. Most of it's all pretty much uh, crusted up. We're gonna go ahead and add some of this garlic barbecue sauce. Again, this is the uh, garlic island barbecue sauce. But we're gonna go ahead and pour plenty of this on here. And then we're gonna turn the heat down so it'll start to, start to thicken. Lots of garlic. Cool. Smells so good. So I'm gonna turn that down. We're gonna let that thicken into it. And then serve that up. So a lot of you guys that are watching these cooking shows from either YouTube or Pinterest or Instagram or one of these other social media sites, make sure you go to our website, disc-it.com, uh, look for the blog and the cooking show. You can actually find the written recipes um, for this and several other you know, different videos we've done. There's about close to 200 videos already. Um, so many different things you can cook. Anything you can cook on a grill, you can cook on a disc. We're gonna let that cook down a little bit. So shout out to Pirate Johnny's out of Florida, sending in your product. Uh, awesome cookbook, so many different varieties. We'll probably do a couple more of these things in the future, I imagine. I saw some really good vegetarian dishes that I want to try. 
So we're gonna go and let that thicken up. And we're gonna serve that, see what this is all about. All right, so we got all that, uh, we turned the heat down, we got these chicken meatballs. Cut one open again real quick just to make a look at it. So here we got um, Pirate Johnny's barbecue garlic sauce and their seasoning. This is chicken meatballs, I'm gonna turn this off here. One thing you wanna be careful when you're, when you're uh, cooking with these barbecue sauces at the end, whatever, you don't want all the sugars and stuff to sit there and burn and everything, so you gotta be real careful. We're gonna try this out real quick. See what this looks like. So thanks for sending in your product uh, team over at Pirate Johnny's. First time I ever tried chicken meatballs. You know what, I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce. Just drizzle that in here. So brand new recipe, brand new product on the Disney Cooking Show. Let's see what this thing tastes like. Chicken meatballs with Pirate Johnny. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Mmm. That's good. Biscuit.